Hey watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers, and today I have a quick comparison of two 39mm Tudor models. On my left, the black, uh, the black dial Black Bay 58, and on my right, the Ranger. I haven't had both of these on bracelets. Um, I'm not sure if I've had them both in stock at, at any point in time. I certainly haven't reviewed both on bracelets, so uh, I saw them both today and wanted to grab them quick and uh, really just go over them real quick and, and share them with you again here. So the 58 uh, is 39, both of them actually, 39 millimeter cases, 39 millimeters across their bezels. So dead even um, dimensions. Uh, the crystal on the Black Bay 58, I did measure at 30.8. So just slightly under 31 millimeters on the crystal itself. The crystal on the Ranger, I measured at 33.1. So essentially 33 millimeters to almost a 31. So about a two millimeter difference on those crystals. Uh, moving along, again, very similar, and it could have just been my calipers uh, measuring the case thickness, and even 12 millimeters on the Black Bay 58 on my left, 12.1 on the Ranger. So again, uh, nearly identical. And the lug to lug, again, uh, probably just a slight difference or user error on the calipers, 47.7 on the 58, 47.6 on the Ranger. So again, both about identical case thickness and lug to lug, as well as. Uh, lug width is going to be 20 millimeters on both, tapering down to 16 at that last link. And then we are going to have a difference here in the clasp. So the 58s have the older flip lock clasp, flip lock style clasp, uh, but 16 back out to 18 at the clasp. And the same can be said of the T fit clasp here on the Ranger. Uh, 20 lug width, tapering down to 16 at that last link, and then back out to 18 on the T fit clasp. So uh, same dimensions. I have done a video comparing the class themselves. I'll link that in the description. Uh, if you happen to miss that video, it's a closer look at the uh, at the differences between the clasps on these two. But you do have, the, again, the T-Fit with the micro um, adjustability on the fly here. Give it a little pressure up, and uh, you can slide that out. So plenty of adjustability uh, without using any tools compared to the 58. You do have the micro uh, but it is going to be uh, a tool or a toothpick or something to uh, move that spring bar there. So uh, just ability on both, but uh, on the fly with the Ranger. So again, I'll link that description and really taking a deeper dive into those clasps. Uh, moving along, both solid stainless steel case backs, both housing the MT5402 in-house movement, 70 hours of power reserve. What we do get on the Black 58 though is the signed, uh, the signed screw down crown, 200 meters of water resistance, obviously uh, more of the dive watch uh, with the bezel. Compared to your field watch, you do have a, si a signed uh, screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance on the Ranger. So if you're just comparing the uh, the case profiles there, again, kind of a polished crown versus more of a, a satin or brushed uh, finish there, but uh, the same rose logo on both. Uh, what else are we looking at here? 145.5 grams for the 58 on the full solid stainless steel bracelets. 147.9 for the Ranger. Um, so one thing I will show, and, and I, I thought about making this video more about the rivet bracelets, uh, but I'm, I'm really going to try to make it more of a comparison of the two. But, um, you know, there's a lot of folks who do not care for the, the look of the uh, kind of faux rivets on these bracelets. Um, I, for one, do not mind them. Um, you know, would I prefer to have them? Probably not. But when you're looking straight down at the watch, the, the rivets are really barely, if at all, noticeable. Um, and so for that, they really, again, don't bother me personally. Um, but they have uh, the, uh, the links there are polished. Compared to the Tudor Ranger bracelet here, all brushed, all satin brushed case edges as well again these all have tape on them but even if you're comparing just the size of the case you know you can tell with the uh with the tape on that that that's polished versus brushed and then again looking at the links all brushed without the rivets on this bracelet so let me throw these both on wrist we'll do a quick loom shot obviously not going to have the rotating bezel on the ranger Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist.
Let me know what your thoughts are on both of these watches. Again, the, uh, the 58s have been out for a while now. The range are still relatively new. Uh, let me hit the lights quick. As always, thanks for viewing. Greatly appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, don't hesitate to email me, brad at brentlmiller.com, and we'll see you in the next video.